Hello guys. Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the, the top 5 best smart TV. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly used to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. His Senses HD TV range fits squarely in this category, offering vibrant, crystal clear high dynamic range images without breaking the budget. We recently tested the 55 inch model. Wasting His Senses own patented old technology, the set's display reportedly enhances color, contrast, resolution and motion by using an advanced combination of hardware and software. Sounds a lot like what the other manufacturers are doing, although whatever his sense is up to here, it is at least mostly working. Sporting a lovely brushed metal finish with a small bezel and thin frame, the 55M7000 UWG immediately impresses from an aesthetic standpoint. In fact, We'd put it up there with any high-end 4K television on the market in the looks department. Included in the box is a metal stand that slots into the TV and can be screwed in firmly. It's got a chrome finish and is quite attractive, holding the television strongly without protruding too much. Though the stand's feet aren't separated all the way to the edges of the set, they're fairly wide apart, so you'll need a wide enough base to place it. The TCL 6 Series Roku TV is the 2020 version of TCL's superb 6 Series model line, one of the best value TVs on the market for several years running. TCL has outfitted this mid range set with more premium features than ever before, enhancing the display with quantum dot enhancement and mini LED backlighting, and backing it all with their best video processor to date. The TV offers one of the best implementations of Roku TV you can buy and includes voice search with a microphone built right into the remote for super convenient use. The only significant differences between these models is the number of mini LED backlights. The 55-inch model we reviewed boasts 128 backlighting zones made up of hundreds of mini LED lights. The 65 and 75-inch models offer up to 240 zones and as many as 1,000 mini LED lights, due to the larger size of the screens. With such minor differences between the different screen size options, we're confident that our recommendation It feels like the Sony X950H series 4K TV was tailor-made for us. It seems to perfectly address all the issues we had with last year's less than amazing Sony X950GX G95 by offering louder and clearer audio while also adding a number of smart AE changes that make customizing the picture easier than ever. Before we dive too deep into the design, it's worth pointing out that the TV basically has two variations, one for the 55-65 and 75-inch versions, and the other for the 49-inch and 85-inch version. The biggest difference between them is that the latter uses last year's chassis and legs while the former uses a new design that we'll describe, and criticize a bit, below. If you plan on buying a 49-inch or 85-inch version, check out our review of the Sony XG95X950G for what to expect in terms of design and setup, but everything else in this section applies to both TVs. In terms of what's similar across all the models are the full array LED design that offers nearly old levels of black and reduced haloing plus the X1 Ultimate processor that we'll talk a bit more in the performance section below. But let's focus on the chassis and frame of the 55-65 and 75-inch models. Setting them up is as simple as building the metal legs by using a few screws and then sliding them into place in either a wide-legged or narrow-legged configuration. This design allows people with smaller entertainment centers to still hold the TV which is handy for folks who don't want their furniture to dictate which TV they buy. It's a great idea. It's inevitable that the Q80T, which features a fault backlight, 
is not going to be the slimmest flat screen on the shelves, but for most buyers the extra bulk is going to be worth it. Samsung's designers have gone some way to mitigating this extra depth by framing the panel with a ridiculously minimal bezel, creating the illusion that pictures are magically hanging in the air. Connectivity is excellent, too, with four HDMI's that offer advanced and varying specifications. There's 4K at 120fps support on HDMI 4, and ARC on input 3. The set can handle 4K at 60Hz. 2K at 120 Hz, plus VRR and ALLM. FreeZync support is included for PC and gamers too. Ounding things out are two USB ports, digital optical audio out, Ethernet to support Wi Fi and Bluetooth, and a common interface slot, for all those territories which require one. You almost certainly won't need everything on offer, but it's nice to have them in reserve. We tested the QE65 Q80T size, though it's also available in 49-inch, 55-inch, 75-inch and 85-inch models, and found it had bright peak HDR, beautiful definition and wide colors. Get to know the LG CX series. It's pronounced C10 because LG wants to be like Apple I guess. It comes in 48-55-65 and 77 inch sizes. The 48 inch model is new for 2020. As usual for old TVs, the 77 inch model is proportionally more expensive, at nearly twice the price of the 65 incher. Competing 75 inch LCD based TVs are much more affordable. The 2020 CX adds a few extras that the B9 from 2019 is missing, namely an improved image processor, compatibility with AMD FreeZync and a new filmmaker picture mode. Otherwise they're very similar. Old display technology is fundamentally different from the LED LCD technology used in the vast majority of today's TVs, including Samsung and TCL's QLED models. The best LCD TVs I've reviewed so far including the TCL 8 series and 2019 Vizio P-Series Quantum X, scored a 9 in image quality. At times they were brighter in HDR than the LEDs, but otherwise the LEDs images were superior in almost every way. All old TVs are more subject to both temporary and permanent image retention, aka burn-in, than LCD TVs. We at Kinect don't consider burn-in a reason for most people to avoid buying an old TV, however. Check out our guide to old burn-in for more. Not much has changed with LG's design. The panel on the B9, the CX and other recent old sets is still vanishingly thin when seen from the side, about a quarter inch deep, with a chunkier section at the bottom that juts out another 1.75 inches. That section houses the inputs, power supply speakers and other depth eating TV components. From the front it's pure TV minimalism. There's less than a half inch of black frame around the top and sides of the picture itself. Then there's a bit more below, but no trace of silver, no LG or any other logo at all. The CX's stand is very similar to the C9 single coat S, its angled edges and medium width across the bottom of the screen. It's more heavily weighted than the B9 on the rear to better resist tipping forward.